Yeah, good morning, everybody. <clears throat> um, today, I would like to give you a quick introduction how we are want to approach autonomous mobility from a ZF group. Talking about ZF, a quick overview about ZF, uh, who we are. Uh, so we are um, a company with an annual sales of 37 billion euro, 150 people employed. Uh, we are top five in the automotive um, supply industry. So as a tech company, obviously we are very interesting in uh, four disruptive, disruptive trends. One is electrification, the second is connectivity, and the third is shared mobility, and the last one is autonomous driving. And um, in the next couple of minutes, I would like to really give you a deep dive how we do the interpretation of autonomous driving and how we want to approach this. So when it comes to the strategic markets we want to address, we see four key markets for autonomous driving. One is commercial vehicles. Here we see in particular the application hub to hub on highways. The second is industry automation. The third is people and car mover. And obviously one of the biggest one you all aware is ride hailing. So the question for maybe to you as well, why we are addressing those four markets? Maybe someone idea why we're addressing those four? The key element here is really that we see here a structural need that autonomous mobility technology needs to be deployed. Now look, looking at the, the truck market, um, when you look at the average um, the average age of a truck driver in the US, for instance, that's 56 years old. So we are running on, on structural problems to get truck drivers in the US over the next 10 years. The same with bus drivers. So autonomous mobility will be a, a solution which needs to be deployed over the next years in order to maintain and keep our, our mobility of, of for goods and people active in the society. And therefore, I think that's got to be key, and therefore we are focusing SNF uh, on those markets. The same for industry automation. Um, so here we're talking about uh, airports operators. Um, we hear the same message. So they're really running out of operators. Um, people car move obviously, right? Um, I think that's, and, and you see here at our booth also our, to get their shuttle, that's a key market we want to address. Fourth, obviously, ride hailing. Um, you know, companies like Cruise, like Waymo, they're going to there and they need products which are reliable. Maybe just from an economic perspective, um, why it's autonomous mobility technology is so interesting in those markets and not in the passenger car market. You know, just making a simple math, um, if you install a system which is worth of 100,000 euros, um, you would say, oh, that's, that's a lot of money, right? But if you think about it, the salary of a normal driver is approximately 50,000, then you see how, how fast you have a payback on that technology. Um, so you have seen it in, in the previous presentation as well. Uh, when we talk to operators, the, the, the personnel cost on operating a mobility system is approximately 50%. So if you get rid of the driver and save those costs, um, you, you see a true benefit. Um, that mobility becomes cheaper, not just safer. And that's probably two, two things we are really aiming at ZF. Just take a look at the product portfolio we are offering. And that's a very wide range. It's starting from a component and goes back to the entire system. And let's spend some, some words on, on our technology offering, starting with the portfolios. Because I think our differentiator and you're going to listen to many presentations today. Uh, there's a lot of nice startups, nice ideas um, about autonomous mobility. But the differentiator we are having is truly 
that we want to create automotive created components. Because at the very end, it needs to be safe. And what, what we experience today in the industry, there's a lot of ideas. You know, they want to they wanna deploy something. I think they're really good in, in MVPs, but they don't offer a solution which is scalable and reliable and safe. And, and just you know, bring you some some example. For instance, the Pro AI, which our which is our supercomputer. Um, we are the first for deploy that on public road on a scalable manner. We just kind of like sign a contract with a big truck manufacturer. Um, and so that's the first one. Looking at our imaging radars, you know, normally a radar, as you know, you know, the simple radars, you know, maybe from your park assist, is kind of like a a distance measure where you can like get a, a control whether there is an object. Our imaging radar sends you back a picture which you need obviously you know to drive autonomously. The same with a LiDAR. We are just you know looking at the corporation where we can deploy a FMCW LiDAR where you have you know a super performance where you have direct measurement of velocity. You know this, these are things we are looking at so we will really want to to, to differentiate ourselves on the technology. And that's just on the component level. And hopefully this, this goes back then on the software as well. So we're developing our own perception. We are developing our own level four functions, driving functions, and we complete that as a, as a system. So what we can offer is, for instance, a complete self-driving sy system for vehicles. But what we can also do, so depending on who you are, and on, on, on which you know product you're interested in, we can also offer you a complete mobility system. You know, and when you look at this, maybe on the next slide, how we are organized as and uh, then we have kind of like this nice overview for for you. On the left hand side, obviously as as a tech company, uh, we are specialized in developing electronic components on an automotive created manner. So therefore, you know, we, we, this goes back from a level two system until a level four system, the radars, the lidars, the, the, the domain ECUs. On the right hand side, and again, you, you're gonna see the shuttle also here at, at the conference. Um, we, we made an acquisition last year. Um, so we made a, a, we bought a majority stake on to get there. Or were you aware of that company, which is a mobility provider? Um, they have developed now a shuttle on a third generation. And what they do, and this is, goes pretty much to our DNA as well, they don't do experiments, they really deploy driverless applications. What you need on the right hand side in order to do that also in a safe manner, obviously, you need the ODD application. Uh, and you need the people and the company and the understanding how you deploy the technology on the ODDs. We do that also with, with to, take, to get there, but also with a company uh, in Ingolstadt. It's called uh, Zukunft Mobility, where we have the experts um, how to adapt a self-driving system. And last but not least is also the, the mobility system at all, as, a, as an entire system, right? And again, there we build on our experience with to get there. They do that over 20 years. Um, it's really a pleasure working with the colleagues of to get there. So, um, I think that, that's an interesting picture, and let, let me spend some, some minutes on that picture, because um, the, the title of the presentation is Pragmatic Ways to Autonomous Mobility, and um, you can believe me, so we are talking to so many companies, big companies in the valley, uh, they are all claiming that they can do driverless mobility, but the reality is they fail on the last percent. They are not really delivering, what they have promised. They always said, you know, maybe you, you read those articles as well three, four years ago that they do the, the first deployment on their technology in 2021. They won't because they don't have the technology to do that on a safe, reliable manner. So we as ZF, we do it differently. And we want to do it really on an evolutionary way. And the good thing is, again, you know, uh, with our colleagues from to get there, we, we just, you know, also identify the way how you can deploy that because they do that since 20 years. So they drive driverless since 20 years. The pragmatic way they did was 
they said, I don't develop a system which is capable of driving everywhere, like a level five system. They did a smart way. They said, okay, let's look at the infrastructure where I can drive, and then I can drive. And so, so what we really can offer today is a self-driving system, a mobility system on segregated lane. Again, to get there is doing that since 20 years, driverless on a safe, reliable manner. And this is what I shared at Vision. So we should start with environments where you can, which you can handle. I think um, city developers, they need to rethink their way as well, how to, to develop a city. Because again, the technology is there, we just need to roll out the technology. And segregated lane, we can offer a product today. What we are doing right now is to, to make the next generation of mobility, which is we go into mixed traffic. But we want to do that driverless as well. So, and, and we call that in the evolution, we go on dedicated lanes mainly. So you can think about bus lanes, uh, which are dedicated for buses. Uh, I, that would be a natural next step for us to do. Because again, the environment is, is manageable, but you still need to have the, the system right capable of you know, overseeing the environment and you know, to, to deploy that in a safe manner. But that would be the next step for us. And the, the, the next generation then, which is for us also manageable and we're just developing the technology, would be then deployment on a fixed route. So you are on, on a public road, but you drive on a fixed route, which the bus normally is doing as well. The next generation on that would be, because you would think, okay, fixed route, at a certain manner, you know, you don't have the customer experience. What we then see is maybe that you automize a certain district of a city. But again, I think this still takes some time to get there. So to make the story short here, so we have currently technologies where you can deploy level four, where you can drive and transfer passenger without drivers, but you, I think we all need to think about how we want to do that. And we are thinking, we need to think about the environment where we want to deploy that. And again, as I said, you know, this is not theory. Um, that's already in operation. Does this work? Uh, I have another slide for you. Ah, uh, here we are. So again, um, I think that's my last slide, but I, I think it's just key to um, underpin the message here. Level four mobility is reality. It's not future. Um, we are running already on a safe and reliable manner. One is our Rivian project in Rotterdam, in the Netherlands and one is in Master City, in Dubai. Um, since over 20 years, we are running and doing this. And the next milestone project, which are coming up, and we're really excited about that, is really now, because we're the first in the world to do now level four people moving on public roads. One will be again in the Netherlands, so we're just talking to the regulators to get the certifications, and the second one will be in Belgium. At, at the Southern Airport, where we expand and and go now on public roads. Again, we want to be the first in the world to doing that. Um, super exciting. Um, looking forward to realize that, that next year with the team.